So this is looking really good, but the way you really find out whether you've got it done properly or not is to put a little bit of undercoat on here. Just basically brush it on quickly. And you can look whether you've really got this thing finished or not when it dries. It shows kind of more of the imperfections because they're hard to see sometimes. So I usually do this undercoat thing to have a quick look. And you know, having some faults is okay because they are lead toys and they did have faults, so. There we go. So, it's gonna look good. A little bit more paint. I'm afraid I'm using it out of the spray can. Because of the um, shops being closed, that's the only thing I got at the moment. How does that look, huh? Maybe I should just spray it, but. Trying to control things a bit. We could try it, I mean, why not? I gotta get a pliers or something here. One of my pinchers. There we go. Put it on a hoof, because that's gonna be black anyways. A little heavy coating, but anyways. Whew. Stuff smells. So I'm gonna let that dry, yeah, and see how it looks afterwards. Let's get some more light there so you can see it. There we go. Now remember, this had no legs, so this is pretty impressive. This front piece, oops, I'm sorry, I keep doing that front piece a little bit off. Anyway, there she is. And it's looking pretty good, I'm pretty happy with that. I don't see too much touch-ups or anything to do. I hope not. Yeah, I'm just giving it a quick color of paint here. I like this orangey red kind of brown. We'll do the hoofs and that later. Just grab a hoof here a sec. There we go. Now make sure you can see it. There we go. Let's paint her up here quickly. And if there's anything I don't like we can always still touch it up. See that looks pretty good when you look at the foot foot in that. Right this way or this way, doesn't matter. There you go. See how nice that looks? Looks like the legs were never off this thing. Brand new. Have it zoomed in so it's a little harder to find the spot where you can see it. Oops, there. There we go, put it over the, the gray here and we'll be fine. There we go, put it over the gray and we'll be fine there. Middle of the board. Little mark here, I don't know whether I'm going to have to do something with that. We'll see. I have a hair there too, which I've got to get rid of in a minute. Nearly done. I only mixed a little bit of paint in a can't cap here because you don't really need that much. If I do it a second time, I'll mix it again. There's the first coat of paint nearly done. I'll just go over the hooves because they'll be painted black later anyways. That's why a lot of the toy companies did that anyways, painted in one color and then painted over it. I think he toy did that. See? So let's turn her around for you guys. 
there. Isn't that nice? And I'll put white or cream yellow on it like it had later on. So, there we go. Done. So yeah, so I'm just doing the black hoofs down in here nicely. And then I'll do the cream. And his famous cow will be done. It's taken a while, you know. Isn't that lovely? I might even put a little kind of white socks on the cow, like, to add to it, you know. They look really pretty. There we go. All I got to do is the uh, white. And it's going to absolutely look lovely. A little bit of a shake. You know, age, I suppose. You know, we all shake when we get older. And there's the hooves ready. Now I need a couple of white spots on this cow and she's done. That hoof's a little low and they're a little higher there. I uh, laid down a bit steadier. How's that? Let that dry and then do the cream and we're finished. <laughs>